Welcome back to uh, South Carolina. We got Betty sitting over here. She's been sitting here for a couple weeks now. Uh, I was supposed to bring it home last weekend. Charlie got called to go do some emergency work on a site where they uh, really needed it done. So therefore we didn't get the loader brought back. Shooting for this weekend and lo and behold, he got called to go do something today. So I was like, I'm already down here. I'm gonna come and finish getting everything put together on it. Hopefully it starts up. I gotta finish putting the covers back on everything, all the belly pans, check over everything, and just pretty much get it ready for uh, bringing it back home and uh, all that. So I guess we need to see if the uh, whole girl's gonna start up. Let's see. Something dripping under there. I don't know if that was just water. All right, so we got the loader pulled up here. Got my safety chain on there since the lock's not working right. Just a little added assurance that uh, that won't completely fall out of the sky on us. And what we're going to do today is finish putting the pans back on. And I pulled it up here, noticed a fuel leak on the machine. And we came over here and the copper line was leaking going into the filter where that was taken off got that tightened back up and the fuel line and that seems to have fixed the leak so now well let's go ahead who's my helper today since i got the shop to myself at charlie's place let's see if anyone can remember <laughs> so if you remember about three years ago justin and i come down to your house yeah you had the abandoned sand pit well it wasn't abandoned you had bought it and you wanted to convert it over into a what like a 20 acre lake is what it yeah, was going to be yeah. when it's all done and we come down there and looked at that and checked everything out and uh your channel you feel on a southern southern homestead transformation was the channel that you put together and you've been working on that for about three years now you bought a cabelco 250 and with the little assistance we got that day i don't know if it was much assistance but it was in the right direction hopefully well it's it's a lot different check out the channel it's a lot different than it was before and uh 
hopefully Chris will come look at it again today and see what I did. Yeah, and, you're uh, only like 45 minutes away from here, and I was going to try to get down there while I was down here because, like I say, I'm not too far away from from your place, and Betty's been a little time consuming and. Charlie got called off to an emergency job today, and you're like, well, if you're going to come down here later on, I'll come up here and help you get everything put back together. So yeah. Scott and I today, we're going to get the uh, panels put back on here and get it ready to haul back to my house tomorrow. Well, let's get her done. Let's get her done. So back here on the back, where we put the plugs in, we put pipe dope on the threads, but I need to tighten them up a little bit more. And uh, it's got just a little small drip, but you can't get the pipe wrench in here because of this brace. So gonna pop these six bolts out where I can get the pipe wrench on here and go ahead and get that tightened up hopefully that'll solve most of the leaky leaks okay so why are we not using an impact socket <laughs> because we cannot find them. We, we have looked through Charlie's mess for 20 minutes and can we can find everything else but a three-quarter inch impact so guess right what size Guess what? We're not using one. Oh, and guess what? It won't fit on that. Ah! Oh, yeah. And see, this does prove that you do, you do do work. I do do work. Ah! I did do a lot of work last week, the other weekend, too. It's just kind of hard to film when you're uh, covered in grease. You mean you don't have a full time photographer? Come on. No. No, I don't. Oh, we might. I don't know if that one's gonna have the opportunities to take that off. It fit. Well, that was good. Didn't tighten you fit. right into the brace. Right. It's usually what happens. Yeah. All right. What's that? It's gonna fall off and hit. I go slow. Guess what it did that time. Just what I said it would. There we go. <laughs> we'll use it. We use the one that'll fit in there. Broke loose. Wrong way. 50-50 shot. So Got a 50-50 shot. Way. Well, you know what? We don't have to take that all the way off. I can get the pipe wrench in That's there now. True. Let's see what we can do with the pipe wrench. That's why that happened. That exactly. Was it, was just, it was a calling <laughs> stop. <laughs> You need me to go under there with you with you. Uh, with the I got a suit. I can go. I can yeah, when I, when I figured. Yeah, we're going. Okay, so we got that tightened up, and couldn't quite get that the way I wanted it to because we got the other brace out. Now this is in the way, and I'm going to try to avoid taking this big thing off. So I'll see if Charlie's got a big socket or something tomorrow when he gets here. But uh, we're going to go ahead and put the belly pans on under here. So I got the floor jack and that humongous pan. And we'll figure out the best way to get that on there. So now we've got a hydraulic leak. Wouldn't be a... You know where it's at? <laughs> way up on here. All the way and, right here. You might yep, be able to I'll see get... me from over there. So I was able to get two of them tightened up. I can't even see the back two. Let me get up here. Oh boy. Uh, hold on one second. I'm gonna get a paper towel and wad up because all that fluid's dripping down okay. right on top of me. You want me to Stay stop? right back. Yeah, just push the top button. Yep. We're back. We are back. We are back. All righty. I'm gonna put my little paper towel dam up right here to keep the oil from running all over my face while I'm trying to. Oh, that's a tough one there. Might need a. Yeah. Probably gonna have to get a socket on that one. I can't even see that one. That's why I said I knew those were gonna be the ones yeah. that were leaking because they are not easy to get at. Well, when the guy you got it from said he changed the hose and they were very difficult to get to, <laughs> I think he wasn't lying. Let me get a 9/16 ratchet extension swivel. Swivel. <laughs> and a miracle and i'll be right back i 
don't know if that's the right one. I swear there's no huh. There's no bolt holes. There's two here. Does it fit right there? Maybe it was just stuck up in there. That's strange. Why they would do that. That might be welded on. I don't know. We'll find out here shortly. Why has my phone rang more today? Than it ever does. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure which way. I was trying to think of where we should go. I know where I was thinking of going. But I didn't know where you had to go. All right. Well, this, I think. touch i don't know can you hit can you hit that side it looks like this side needs to go back yeah that side is almost on the lip yep keep going it's going on there now Right there, it needs to be not this way. This one's really close. Yeah, if we can get it in there, okay. might want it. Yeah, all right, finally got it on there. That one was a bit of a booger, Scott. Only two hours later, <laughs> only no, it wasn't. That <laughs> no, one, I'm, just, it I'm joking. Like it. <laughs> Wait till we get to this big one right here. Yeah, all right, gracious. I'm going to predict that one's going to go in nice and easy. I hope it does. It'll be a bigger surface area to hold. <laughs> It'll be the first time I was right this year, but... <laughs> <laughs> we will never know until we try. All right, we got the uh, big belly pan going under. Here we go. We'll have to slide it back a little bit. It's not quite centered on there. It's going to tilt back. Let me set the camera up on the other side. You didn't win the, uh, you didn't win that competition at the Indiana thing or Kentucky or wherever the heck no, that I thing my, was. Let my buddy <laughs> try out and they beat my butt. That's what he did. All right, sledgehammer's right here. Let me grab it when I come. I was going to go to that. I had to go to, uh, I was in mediation that day. Oh, really? Yeah. What a waste of time that was. About nine hours for them to offer a million dollars at the end. That's like crazy. they wasted the whole day. All right, I got to tap, tap it back to okay. you. Okay. Go up here. No, hold on one second. I'm going to try to get, get it started. A bolt started right here. Uno broke off in that one. All right, up one if you can. No, we'll do one more. Oh, there we go. It won't fall out with two. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> if it does, there's a problem. All right, I got a bolt right here. You can get lucky number. I don't know how many more will fit in there, but I'll go get some more bolts. Get that one. I'll tighten these two up, but we ain't gotta get back under here. This one. Do we need to? I tell you what. Hand me the impact. I'll tighten this one up. And then Hold on. I got it. it. Yep. Okay. So we can pull, pull that one up right there. That'll. All right. There we go. I can get to this okay. one right here. And I'll go find two more bolts for that right there. Hey, there's my two bolts right there. See? <laughs> if you didn't have the creeper, you would have laid on them. See, you would have known they were there. I would have <laughs> known they were there. I'm going to come around and move I'm probably going to need those two bolts right here to put that pin on.
Hear you, hear you. You need me? Nope. Is that one broken off? There was a couple that were... That one is good. That one's broken off. Okay. Your three won't hold it for never will. Yep. And you need... No, there's only two. Yeah, there's only two. So there. we got an extra one. Okay. Save it for when that one falls out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did put a couple new ones in there, so... Yeah. Let that down. Oh, I should have got the hand. Yeah, I'll get that one there. So we got most of the bolts back in. Some of them kind of... Some of them went in. Some of them didn't. It really comes down to... If all these... If all these don't hold it. You got way two, worse problems. Two missing <laughs> ones aren't going to fix it. I'm going to see if I can put one in there, though. Except Those are broke part, off yeah. in there. I mean, she's not a beauty queen, but we want, we want most of the bolts left in it. I'll get a long one. Maybe a couple of short ones. I really would like that cover under the radiator, though. Yeah, that's know. an important one. That's kind of an important one. I think I should put a long one. I don't think a regular one's going to reach that far. It's still but it's sticking out that far. Let's try a longer one. So Charlie took all this off. And uh, Charlie knows how to put stuff back together the way he took it off. I don't remember half the way he took stuff off, so... I didn't think that was going to start. So some of them have no threads. That might have been one of them. Let's see if we can make new threads. Nope, not on that one. Let's see what this one is. Well, that'll keep it from falling off, I do believe. Let's see if one more will fit right there. Well, it started. Look at there. Might even get lucky right there. <laughs> well, we got all these bolts. We might as well put some of them back. No sense to put them in a pile. No. All right, I can deal with uh, one, three missing. It'll live. You got that out, grab bolts. I don't know if they're the right bolts, but they're bolts. I feel like the good oily greasy ones were the ones that probably needed to. said my head just needed a band-aid. Like when he comes, that's where he stays. He likes to stay in that. Oh, okay. When he's got his own, I call it the veranda. He's got a table and chair. It's all under roof and everything. And he, he, likes, he likes it. He, come, he lives in Connecticut. He's, he's a guy. I've known him 
He used to own a bar. And, you know, yeah. He was like a regular. He was all the time. And that was in 2012. Those line up for that Let me get a bar and try right. to push that in a bit. Um, Since I've known him, he hasn't paid his mortgage. Oh, God. And he's been in foreclosure and this and that. And they still haven't taken him out. But he's still got a place to live. Right? Yep. He's got no feet, though. And he lives in Connecticut, which is oh cool. Oh, my God. And I said, James, I said, you you could leave right now, leave the keys on the on the table, and start living like a human again. Yeah. I think to him it's a game. Like he's gonna beat them. Like I'm like James, they're beating you. They're killing you. Yeah. You, you have no. Key. He had no hot water. And then somebody gave him. If a you key. wanna push this in, I think I can get this thing started. Okay. Can you try it at that? Can you do both? Not enough. Is that enough? Uh, oh. You can get this one, the one closest one to me. I think it's starting. Nope. Try the one. This one by the batteries. Where the hell the boat go? Back to the way I heard it. Yep. This one. That one right one there by the surface of the batteries looks like it's All right. Oh, I think we can get that one too. back here this morning so uh we couldn't get the fuel tank leak stopped yesterday what had happened was we had sealed it up and i forgot re uh charlie re-welded that and it probably melted the uh pipe duct that was in there so that's why it's leaking we're gonna drain the fuel tank and then uh, take that cap off and uh see if we can't reseal that and thread tape it where it won't be leaking and then all that's left to do is Put our engine covers back on one side. It's the only one I got. And somehow my belly pan for the front is hiding under some plywood or somebody put it somewhere we can't find it and find that. And should be good to go. found my mystery panel somehow it ended up way out there in the dirt it's not a pretty panel and it blends into the dirt but I need it <laughs> uh, this is pretty important that you don't have sticks go up here into the bottom of the radiator knock all them hoses off so uh, I don't think there were many bolts left holding it on but it's enough to keep a stick from climbing up on there and climbing up in there and ripping it out so I'm gonna grab the floor jack and see if I can't put that back on there Pumping all the fuel and back out. Luckily, we didn't put a whole lot in there. Take that plug out and seal it up. All right, so we got the tank drained out. It's on there. Yes. We got the tank drained out, fuel line off. Now we're taking the uh, cap off, the plug out. We re-welded it. We didn't didn't think about it, but it melted the tape that was on it. It won't go just fall out, was it? Mm -mm, no. 
I beat it back on there with a hammer. <laughs> I was like, maybe it just needs a quarter turn. Remember, we laid it on the on the side. And we we had it the on the ground. Yeah, you both got I was it. telling with Scott yesterday I was like, we uh we had a four footer on there and everything you know, we had. And the tank was off. Oh. Here, let me take my glove off so they don't soak you don't diesel. get soaked in diesel fuel. I thought mm -hmm. the same thing. I was like, some rubber gloves would be nice. And this jacket sleeve because I know it's going to go down and ruin it. There shouldn't be a whole lot. Well, I mean, there's still probably a half a quart right there. And I'll let it fall in the bucket. Mm hmm. Ready? Yep. Look at that. Caught what I could. Another bucket? No. Just got a little residual. Yeah, I'm glad I took my jacket off. It went all with you in the <laughs> I try. I mean, I drained every drop I could out the valve there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We, we knew we knew that, that was, was the whole point of putting that plug in there. There was a little there. bit more than a half a quart in there. Maybe maybe a whole quart. We knew that that, that was the whole point of putting that plug in that tank when we took it off. <laughs> yep. That was was the, specifically for that reason. That to, was the lowest. To be the part. lowest point and to clean the whole tank out each time. And it was. We'll probably power wash that off before I so put that So that right handle there by. shows you. Sediment that, that will be there. That plug was perfect. So here is the big plug. Got Teflon tape on that and pipe dope. I don't know if I can get that started or not by one hand and holding the camera. We'll see. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe. That should keep that from uh, ever leaking again, I would hope. We gotta do the small plug. Get that tightened up. And uh, filled it back up with fuel after we put the line on. Should be good to go. All right, we're making progress. While I was getting the uh, fuel tank situated, Josh got the broken bolt cut out of that. Got a new bolt put in there uh, for the access cover so that that's not going to sit there and fill it with dirt. For the track tensioner, I got these plugs put back in. We had to go get a new plug. That one was stripped out. Got that tightened up, fuel line back on. I just put the brace on. I took the other panel. We're gonna try to make one out of an old panel off of one of Charlie's excavators I found in the scrap pile. So I got one engine compartment cover right here and I traced it to the other side for the one that's missing. And we're gonna do our best to, well, Josh is gonna cut it out with a plasma cutter. And, uh, it doesn't have to be pretty. I just need something to keep the uh, dirt from going in that other engine compartment. So we're going to cut a new side panel and a door for the uh, oil filter side out of a old panel door. this is too bad for a uh, one-time fit I had to beat it in place and only one bolt hole is gonna line up but it is what it is there all of those are broke off in there so if I can get one bolt here those are all wedges so it's it's got those wedge clips in there it's not gonna go anywhere and I'm gonna put a bolt from the inside that threads into there that'll keep that that put and that'll keep all that dirt from as the tracks going around from filling up that engine compartment again. So the hood got hit by a log at some point in time. I'm gonna try to put this block right here and let the loader, loader arms down and just smash it back in place.
all right so i got that panel on while josh cut out the new one we were overthinking doing bolts so this is the cover that was on the machine and there's a bolt right there to go in and there were some hinges but they were broke off and we were going to try to weld some bolts with nuts on there and i got to think i was like why don't we just weld a door hinge on there we found a door hinge we're going to weld it right there put a bolt hole in there and that cover's good to go so while he's working on that last engine cover i'm going to adjust the auto Check that out. That's not too bad. So there's a uh, bolt right here to loosen up and that'll fold down. I just sprayed a little bit of paint and ended up welding the door hinge on there. So that panel was there, that was missing. Got that cut out of the other one. An old uh, panel door Charlie had. That's good to go. And then this cover over here will now keep all that dirt from going in there. I just finished tightening up the bolts. We got that back panel on. We're pretty much good to go. I gotta let it down. We got one little thing to weld, little plate on the bucket to keep a pin from falling out. I think we're good. Finally. Yep. Old girls coming together. Betty is done. That's a big new bucket you got there, Charlie. Oh. Yeah, don't look at that, you'll get your feelings hurt. No, it's, no, it was just chipping weights and stuff. I thought it was supposed to be a 98 millimeter pin and it says 100. It's almost positive, it's supposed to be 90, 98. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's supposed to be 90, 98. Uh oh. Maybe. So that's going to go on the 330 that's got the stumper on it way over there across the field. He's gone way over there, gone all the way around. All the way around. And then that's going to be your new pit 
pit loading machine. We've had it or, in the pit before I brought it here to do that stumping. And uh, the bucket that was on it is like a two and a half yard, which is the same thing as the 300 tab. So this is a, it's supposed to be like a three and a half struck. Yeah. So almost five heaped up probably. Four and a half. Yeah, Four and a half. Like that. You might could get it. I don't know. We'll see. I know I ran a John Deere 350 and it had a bucket like that on. It was four loads for a quad and it was all, it was, that was over over 20 tons. Well, that was, we're gonna, we got a big pile of dirt um, that I priced hauling off from Harbor Freight. In fact, I made a video about it, but um, that this would be one of the machines that I would put out there loading it. I'd put a machine on either side of the pile and beat to the center about 10 trucks and haul it to the pit for. Um, reclaiming but yeah no i'm excited about it you're more excited about what you went and got about two or three days ago aren't you oh, let's go check it out Virginia. oh yeah thanks to you i found me a <clears throat> out of the 50 i one. sent you i think it was the first one first yeah, or second one that was what i wanted the guy kind of ghosted me a little yeah bit. that was kind of i he thought it was even a know scam who the hell you were what the <laughs> Watch your uh, lane. Yeah, what the, heck, what the a... world? Hold on, let me show them. I, I, I got while well, we're up here. Armrest. Look at that. Got new armrest put on Betty. Very oh yeah. Comfortable, Very comfortable. Very comfortable. I mean, I think a plush headliner, and we'll we'll be rocking and rolling after that. I got some. Okay, we'll I'll come back next weekend. We'll do that. But hold, hold on. We got to show you what Josh did real quick. So uh, Betty's lacking a few uh, greasable pins, and uh, some of them are just way too far gone. So they just weld plates over them and that one kept coming out so you got to leave the pin where it free spins in there and the fact of the matter is you don't want that coming out because then you'll well, just you, so screw the whole bucket in, up. in the scrap pile over there there is a four in one jaw for my backhoe that's busted because of that. because of the pin come out and it yeah, got twisted so 40 something hundred dollars comes to my mind <laughs> but i don't think it was that much but that's what comes to my mind so what brand is this trailer? Eager Beaver, just like Eager my Eager Beaver. What year was it? Not, or 2000, 2001. 2001. You went all the way up to it, Virginia and got it. it. It's got a little flaky rust on it, but I don't it, I don't think it's anything structural. Structural. I, of course, you know what I was looking at now? I was on, I was looking at 600 pound sandblaster setup. <laughs> So, what year is your other eager beaver that's a 91 so oh. 10 years newer gotcha so that one doesn't have any camber that one's flat yeah they they started putting camber in them i guess mid 90s somewhere yeah you can tell it's been around a little bit of salt yeah but i mean you say this is a 50 ton 55 ton. 55 ton yes, 55. the right the, the good. there's a little bit of there's a little bit of rust back here does the rear axle lift yeah Rusty, you can buy them pieces and do I need to buy Yeah. We would haul it, you just haven't got tags put on it yet. But so yeah, so he owed a little bit of money on it, so I wired him the money once I looked at it, which was there in about 15 minutes. And um I was almost gonna talk junk to him, but <laughs> I did. Because the price went up and the quality went down. Well, just because he said he, after I made the deal with him, he said he owed money on it. And I'm like, okay. You were expecting to have a title when you, uh... That is sort of, yeah. But anyway, so he said he got the title and he, he overnighted it to me Friday. So I guess Monday. Really you should is. get here Monday. I've got a bill of sale. I just don't have a title. Gotcha. Um, I want to put some boards in the center because I don't, I don't like an open <laughs> center right now. Yeah. But as you can see, there's a little bit of... Yeah. I mean, it's not bad, but there's a little bit of flaky rust in there. See, if you took that off, you'd never know it was there. So, no, I mean, so I'm going to flip it upside down. Oh, those rocks ro rolled all the way from Virginia. It, it's a smooth ride. <laughs> Just bring it around and load it here, you want to bring it up here and load it. It doesn't matter. We can, you we can back up there, that way we don't tear the grass all up. Uh, hey, Dumb, do you want me to bring it up? tear up the grass. I want Betty will tear the hell out of grass, it, I'm sure. Betty will mire the grass up, and your wife will be out here cutting grass and want to kill me because... Yeah. So, well, I'm glad you got you, one. You can look at it, look at the beams, and see. You know, it's a taller beam. Yeah. Inside and out, but it only. So that truck and trailer combination weighs thirty-five thousand six hundred pounds, and this one weighs what was it? Thirty-eight two thirty. Said thirty-eight. It was like thirty-eight two thirty. Three so or four thousand pounds more, but not, not a whole lot more. You know, more. Weight. But it's a twenty more ton rated no. trailer. No, I, I definitely would have thought it. And we. 
You, have you put, you haven't put the 235 on that, have you? Oh, no. No, it would break that in half. For 330. And <laughs> that, I did carry a 336 one time. That's a bit much for... But just from one side of the job to the other, yeah. the bags would never come up off the <laughs> But, did I mention the tra that tra I broke that trailer a couple of times? Yeah, I remember you uh, got a, you sent me some pictures of it upside down, welding it back together, so. All right, well, let's get Betty loaded up. Back to the North Kakalaki. Load Betty up. Five points of contact, chain down, and we're ready to roll. You guess that'll make it 140 miles? Oh, uh, yeah. If not, we'll stop and put it back on the trailer. We'll throw them on there. It's actually a legal width. It's not over width, so that's a, yeah. that's a plus. You can haul this thing pretty much any time. It's not over 8.6.
and get this bad boy unloaded in the dark so we might not get many videos unloading it but uh hope you enjoyed this series of working on it and the next video will actually be running it some when we can see hope you enjoyed